I guess I will. Okay. All right, Sandra. But I'm going to use Carrie. Of course. She's really, yeah, yeah she's really, you know, been there for me. And, mm -hmm. you know, I just called her today mm -hmm. saying, how does this work? And, you know, she was right there, you know, telling me. And yeah, so she's really a super to help us and stuff. She is. So. She is. I think that's awesome. You guys, you know, you all work really, really well together. But I agree with you. I think she's she's great. I think we all speak to Carrie on a daily basis. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. I was like, only one more Marco Polo, Carrie, and then you cut off. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Teresa, what about that's you, my friend? Um, I don't know. Okay. Um, I guess when we had our meetings in Buford, uh huh, and I guess it wasn't one person in particular, uh huh. Um, but when we had our meetings in 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 Buford, um, I guess I kind of got excited and 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 wanted to be so much like some of the older people that had all of these that have been selling for years yeah, yeah. and had um, and had you know they just seem to know their people not just their their um downlines or whatever they knew their customers yeah they knew everybody and that just kind of you know it kind of made me want to do that. Yeah. Well, you um, duplicated that because you know your customers and you know your people. Yes. So, good and bad. You know, you know why they're not ordering and you know, you know what I mean? So, you know, so I think that's, so you have that skill. You're very caring. So. And I guess, I guess if I had to really pick one person in particular out of the entire group that we had, I, I think it would be more so you because Aww. you not you even though you weren't right there you were right there right oh that's sweet that's <laughs> you, you know I never I never felt as though you were um you don't portray to be a leader in charge or whatever it's like you're always trying to help so that made a big difference because it made me want to do more yeah that's just okay. thinking, just believing, just believing that you were believing in me. Yeah, I made a big difference. I do, I do, mate. I do. I need you guys to get up there because you guys are great leaders. So I need you guys to like, um, what do they call it? Bacon and bacon, or bacon and what do they call that? What do they call that? Shaking, <laughs> shaking, shaking, bacon, shaking, bacon, shaking, bacon. I don't know. <laughs> Like, bake, baby. Yeah, yeah, that's what I need you guys to do. Hustle, do the hustle. Do, 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 do. Okay, so anyway, we're going to go through working the plan. And um, if you have catch up, like Teresa, I got your message, I'll definitely send you the last two modules. But I think if you complete the two, we'll be able to. What's that? I got one here coaching your team. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm going to be sending this to you shortly. Okay, okay, no worries. We'll make it this one before that. Okay, and then okay. I want to get together and either go, um, we can do lunch or we can do dinner. So I'll send out a couple of dates and stuff that um, we could go and do your graduation. So that would be fun. So that's the fun part. I mean, it's all fun, but it's that's you know, I like to eat, so that's the good part. So anyway, <laughs> so, so, okay, so we're putting it all together now. You're, you're talking to more people to grow your Avon business. You're on the path to achieving your dreams with smart goals and great plans. You are confidently coaching your teams to help them grow. With all of this in place, it's important to check your progress along the way. You've been able to celebrate your awesome results and adjust your actions if needed. 
to achieve your goals. We call this working the plan. And for you guys as well, we will be doing at least, if you got, if you want to do a bi-weekly end of close campaign, we can do it, but we will at least be doing a once a month touch base until we get you to where you need to be, okay? So, and that's why I said, don't worry if you feel overwhelmed by any modules, we can always go back and we can always touch base on maybe some more vibe reports or maybe some other things. So I never wanted anyone to get, um, you know, just overwhelmed with everything because from now on we'll be just touching base once a month. I know we're probably touching base more than that, but I was like just to really go through your business and, and how it's all going. So what do we actually mean by working the plan? We're going to look at the campaign and the quarter, understanding your results, finding the gap, planning time to take action, and then looking at your team, which is the multiplier. So in our last seminar, working the plan focused, working the plan focuses on what happens after you begin to execute your plan. So it's important to track your progress so you can adjust your plan along the way. This is where the real fun begins. You don't want to look back and say, I shoulda, coulda, or woulda. So we're going to be proactive. We're really going to take a pulse on how your activities are or are not supporting a successful campaign or the achievement of your long-term goals. Today, we're going to review when and how to track your progress along with the red flags that can help you identify if you need to adjust your approach. So this is where everything, this is where I guess the rubber hits the dirt or I, I'm doing a lot of sayings there I'm not sure is correct. But anyway, so... um. Is that right? The rubber hits the road? That's where the rubber hits the road. So this is where we all get together. All right. So we're looking at short-term goals, which is the current campaign, and then also the long-term, which is the quarter. So that's what we talk about. You know, I'm always talking about the quarter, the first, second, third, and fourth, because you want to do easy and achievable milestones. So that's why it's important to do little bite-sized goals. So it's important to track your progress so you can take the right action and achieve your goals. First, tracking your progress in the short term or during your current campaign. You have an opportunity to easily see if you're on track to maintain your current title or if you're on track to advance to the next title. You can adjust your actions to ensure your success. So I'm just going to put that back to you. What, how do you see, what do you do to see if you're on track with your goals? Do you use any reports? I usually um, just kind of... Uh, when I get my um, statements and whatever, I kind of look over them and see where I am from where I was. Okay. Um, and I kind of um, keep up with with everything from there. Although I don't think I do a very good job. So <laughs> wow. I'm getting, I'm learning, learning more and more as we do this. So it's yeah. definitely... Um, Kind of sinking in. So probably when we, do, like when we do our one-on-ones, Teresa, we're really going to look at Vibe. So what I want you to do when you go into Vibe is right there and then it has your progress tracker. Like if you're wanting to go to Bronze Ambassador or if you're, if whatever it is, but that will give you your short, short and long, you know, it will give you your short term, like how you're tracking towards the campaign, if you're on track, all of that kind of stuff as well. But what you're doing right now is perfect as well, because that is actually the same thing that gives you where you are year to date, cycle to date, you know, if you're tracking to PC, all of that kind of stuff. So both of them are, are perfect answers. So it's important to keep an eye on your progress towards your long term goals. Track your progress versus the goals you set in the goal setting module of this program, at least every six campaigns or every quarter. This will give you the opportunity to plan as needed and celebrate your success. You want to stay on track to achieve your dreams. So as we close out, like we're nearly to the end of third quarter, and then we'll be starting fourth quarter. So this is something that you can really say, you know what, in fourth quarter, I'm really going to look at 
um, my goals for the next six campaigns, my goal every single campaign, where I want to be, all of that kind of stuff. And that way you can give yourself the short term and the long term goal starting in fourth quarter. So when you focus on the current campaign, we're taking stock of any immediate short term needs to maintain our current title or achieve the next title. Within Vibe, our individual progress reports provides a nice window into our performance and allows us to keep a pulse on where we are doing well and where some areas of risk may be. So when we identify an area of risk, of risk it is essential to deploy quick, quick hit tactics to remedy the solution. This may be including doing something yourself or providing real-time coaching to your downline. So now you're going to meet Kerry. Kerry's been around for a little while in our program. Kerry is a bronze leader who recently participated in the leadership development program. She checks her progress during the current campaign and finds that she has achieved 99% of her current title's requirements. She is thrilled that her efforts are paying off. Kerry has a goal to become a silver leader in the next year. She, takes, she checks her progress towards silver leader requirements so she can adjust her activities and to achieve her goal. So we're going to have a look at Kerry and what's stopping her from becoming a silver leader. So in order to achieve silver leader status, Kerry needs to increase her total team sales and she needs to add a generation one leader to her downline. Kerry begins to think how she can adjust her plan to achieve these goals. Even if she cannot get them done within the campaign, she can still put things into motion to get them done now for the very next few campaigns. So in long-term goals as well, like you may not see that instantaneous results, but you may see it back in the second campaign, the third campaign or the fourth campaign, because sometimes things take a little while to get that momentum. You know, you may be out there recruiting and for the first two weeks, you know, you've, sp you've spoken to five people a day, five days a week, and you haven't had any, any, anyone, but you've been following up. That third and fourth week is probably most likely because you followed up with them, you've spoken to them again, is when everything's going to come through. So your recruiting efforts basically in the first two weeks may not have the results that you want because they may not be instantaneous. But, the you know, week three, week four, week five, you'll start to see all the results coming in from that hard work that you put in a month or six weeks ago as well. So they're the things that you've got to look at, especially with running an Avon business. So, so we need to now take plan to take action. To increase her total team sales within the campaign, Kerry can pull from a couple of different levers. First, she can increase the number of overall orders by seeking out those who have not placed an order. So we look at order activity. That's something that can show you there. Like, or you know, who hasn't placed an order? Who maybe got removed from your downline? There's different ways um, on looking at your order activity. So that's something that you always want to look at, you know, probably two times a week on your vibe, especially as you grow. Secondly, you can try to increase the average order size for those orders still left to be placed. So there would be things like maybe adding an A box um, to the orders or perhaps, you know, asking your downline, okay, so what, what's your favorite product or what, what do you like out of the campaign? What's your favorite thing? So, so that's another way that you can um, do it. So either get more orders, get more representatives to order and also increasing the average order size as well. So here are some ideas for increasing Kerry's team total orders. So ideas to increase the team's total orders. Share best practices on social media. Or you could use Marco Polo like we use. Follow up with reps with a no order. Share ideas for creating an order during this campaign. I think Kerry had some success um, with her phone calls today as well, being able to reinstate people as well as place orders. 
Ideas to increase the team's average order size. Share add-on sales ideas with your team. For example, add on a lipstick and talk to her about buying an lip liner. Share cross-category. If she buys jewelry, maybe she might like to try a makeup product or maybe she didn't know. I mean, so many people didn't know we had Aspira. What are some other ideas that you've got out there that is helping you increase your team sales? You guys want to share? Sherry is caring. <laughs> well, I know, like I was, I think I told you about the perfume uh -huh. that I have a lady that she just loves the perfume. Right. So I will buy, you know, out of the watch new and then go sell it to her. And she's bought every one. She's never hasn't bought the one that I, you know, wow. she just loves the perfume. That's awesome. Teresa, you got any handy dandy tips? Because I know you used to call, she used to call on all the gas stations on her way to work. I used to love listening to her stories. I think you all do that now. You all do like drop off, drop off different locations and talk to different people about products and all that kind of stuff. So you want to add anything, my friend? Anything, anything? Okay, all right, so now let's talk about Carrie and how she can increase her generation one leaders. Like I said before, this night might <clears throat> this mightn't be possible during this campaign, but Carrie needs to start working towards this goal now. So Carrie can, these are a couple of things, recruit some new representatives who might be interested in leadership, identify team members who are good potential leaders, discuss the leadership opportunity with them, coach them to help them achieve the next title. But remember, we want to make sure that we go back to only coach those people that want to be coached and we want to make sure that we ask for, I'm just my computer ask for permission to be coached because if they're not willing and acceptable to coaching then you're really wasting your time and you need to be coaching people that that want your help and um and i think that's a good conversation to have i think it's a real conversation because you don't want to put all your time and effort and 100 percent into someone if they can't give you their 100 percent back either so it's got to be a mutual partnership so no, it wasn't moving. Okay. So we're going to shift our attention from tracking short-term results to tracking where we are versus our long-term goals. It's a great idea to go through this exercise every six campaigns or a quarter at a minimal. minimal. So every six, you should do a business review every campaign after the of every, at the end of every campaign close and also at the end of every quarter as well. So here is looking at your long-term progress. Follow the same steps to track long-term progress as you did to in the short-term practice. Look at your results versus your goals. Find the gaps and adjust your plan to take action. Tracking your long-term progress also allows you to do one every important thing. So we want to make sure that we celebrate success. People want to be recognized. And you also, sometimes if you don't have a leader or someone in there that is engaged in their business, you might not get recognized if like somebody else who does have a leader that is always doing recognition or things like that. So you have to be able to know where to find your own wins because at the end of the day, you are a business owner. And not everybody pats the business owner on the back. Um, however, so this is a way that you'll be able to say, you know what, I did great this campaign and, you know, I did better than last campaign. So you'll be able to really look at it and be able to evaluate yourself and be able to give, I know it's not the same, but give yourself your own pat on the back because that's important as well for you to be able to know how great you are doing. So 
It is so, so important to set goals. Um, this chart represents an example of a gold ambassador and her results after six campaigns. You can see she'll want to adjust her actions and make up some ground if she wants to achieve her goal for next year. She can celebrate her personal sales. She's making it happen with her customers, but now she might want to shift her focus a little bit on how she does it with her team. So she needs to go ahead. So you can see, we're going to go through her. I'm just going to meet this. So what do you guys see here with her progress? So she's got her goal to the right-hand side, right? So she's got, to be a bronze leader, she needed 10 appointments, but she got six, right? So she was down four. Her team size was consistent. She didn't lose any staff, but she didn't gain any. Her order activity, she actually wanted it up to be about 57%. Team orders and then the average sales as well. So her team say, so it goes through and says, okay, like what she achieved as a gold ambassador and then her quarter that she really wanted to be was a bronze ambassador. So it goes to show you, um, you know, where she was in her gap to goal as well. And this is all in Vibe that will go through it with you. It will show you how far you are away from the next level and what you need to do. So you want to look at it by campaign. I know Sandra and I really um, wrote down as far as each campaign, how much we wanted to see her sales grow, how many additional customers we wanted to see, um, but that consistency with it as well. So we're going to talk about how you can impact your long-term personal results if you identify a gap. So here are some ideas that you might want to try if you adjust your plan. Who wants to read through the slide? I know you're sick of hearing me. Who wants to read through the slide? Ideas to improve personal results. I've only got my two on the... Do you want to do it, Sandra? I'll mute because I know Tilly's going crazy in the background. Did you want to read it? Not really. <laughs> Teresa, did you want to read it? <laughs> uh, Sandra, you go ahead and read it. Okay. Prospects more to meet new people. Go back to the people you know, contact them, uh -huh. make five contacts, five days a week, uh -huh. conduct Avon opportunity meetings, yep. follow, grow when you talk to people, uh -huh. increase add-on sales and cross-category sales, uh -huh. still others ideas. Love Think about your downline and your upline. Okay. And title, let's see. Identify your, identify your next leaders. Uh -huh. Coach your next leaders. Coach lower level leaders to help achieve higher titles. Super duper, thank you. All right, so now, Okay, so now we're going to talk about how you can impact your long-term results if you identify a gap. So here are some identifiers you might want to, ideas that you might want to try if you need to adjust your plan. So Teresa, would you like to read this one? I don't know whether she's driving. Teresa, can you hear us? Okay. All right. I'll go. So 
Share best, best practices and how-to ideas on social media. Duplicate your key learnings from the coaching program. Recognize team members regularly. Create team competitions. Connect the team with learning opportunities. And invest in coaching the right people. Oh, Teresa's trying to talk, but we don't hear you, Teresa. No, we don't. So, so Sandra and Teresa, I think that just so you know, so you may want to do something else in the Buford community as well, like in addition to what um, you're, you, in addition to the Bluffton meeting or whatever, but Sandra, your IHOP meeting was amazing. So, you know, I wouldn't, I would do some sort of follow-up with that. So I want you to start thinking about like what else, you know, because I think they really enjoyed that meeting. So, and I think that's going to help you build your team. I think, you know, I just, that's my husband calling Tilly now. Tilly, my, my poo, all my dogs are naughty. My, do my children and dogs are naughty. <laughs> He just wanted to retreat, and he she's gone. All right. So I thank y'all for hearing me now. Yes, we can hear you now. <laughs> All right. So, so your team is your multiplier. Together, everyone wins. So, um, I'm gonna go through your application guide. Is working the plan. But what I want you to do is to do this one after you've done the other ones, okay? So, Sandra, you've got the coaching one done, so you're up to par. We just need our one-on-one -on -one for our coaching, so you can go ahead and, and do this. Um, and, Teresa, I want you to complete your other at least two ones before we get on to this one, okay? But what I want you to do okay. is so, so I'm going to – I just want to show you something, and then I'll um, – I just want to show you a couple of key reports that I that I really want you to have a look at. So, and this is the hot topic of the um, question for next Thursday. What is your proudest moment as an Avon business leader? So, what is your proudest moment of um, for an Avon business leader? But I'm just going to just go through, and I want to show you. Okay, so this is what I want to show you a couple of things. So you go into Vibe because the biggest thing is now, okay, so I'm going to give you a couple of little goals. I'm going to put my district sales manager hat back on, but let me turn the recording off so nobody can hear that. 